I could hold it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> We're on Orion today. Uh, we did some wackiness on Wayfinder last week. We are currently hanging out on my level 28 Artificer <clears throat> with her faithful doggo Spike. And we're going to do a couple things. We are going to run the anniversary event. Uh, and I am also going to run the Storm Horns. Um, let's actually... Let, let, let me take a look here. Okay, so I've already run Delira on this character. Have I run Delira on this character? Actually, I don't know if I have. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, dum. Uh, uh, I have not run Delaris on this. Oh, so I must have gotten my uh, epic voice of the master from a, an alt having run Delaris. Okay, well, ooh, I could do the haunted halls of evening star. That's actually quite fun. I like that. We're gonna do the haunted halls of evening star. <clears throat> Before, but first we're gonna do the anniversary event because uh, Cobalt still hates me, and I want to get me a Cobalt uh, gem. This character is actually not using a gem of any kind. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, I know I lied. I've got the hopeful on here. I like the hopeful, but I do want to earn. Uh, a thing of the, of the, um, let me go take a look, of the kobold. The sentient jewel of the kobold. Uh, bind to account on acquire. Yay. So I already have one. My main uses it and I, I freaking love it. Um, why am I not running this on my main? Um, well, she's at level cap, that's why. And we have a 20% XP boost going on. So I figured, why the hell not? Okay, so I ran this already on on level, level 28, and basically blew through it. I'm going to try to run it at a higher level and see how I do. This may go well, this may go poorly. So, 28, 29, 30. Let's run it at level 30 and see how we do. Uh, since I've already done it once, I'm not going to do any better. All right. Um, let me summon, a, I'm only going to summon a couple of the dudes because, honestly, the other hires get worse and worse as time passes, so, um, alright, let me set them all to aggro, so we're running without, um, a death ward, which is kind of scary. Uh, protection from electricity, yes, because Steel Star. Uh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get everybody Shield of Faith. Why not? There we go. Uh, and let's go. Scrag, no you. The Arlen guards block a kobold from entering the anniversary party. The excited creature waits. So the goal is here is to Scrag, try to run this as you. fast as possible. The kobold points inside. Uh, because I'm pure arty, I get plus six bolts, so that's helpful. Alright, let's see how we do. I ran through this like butter, uh, two levels lower. Uh, if we do well here, then we will go wacky. An impressive warforged turns to face you. There you are. Good. I've been dying to try this out. Yeah, how do you like them apples? You get Zorch with the electricity. Alright, this hound is down, the steel is down here. I mean, seriously, I just hit him with like one freaking bolt. Coffee break! Steel Star gets a coffee break. So, like, I've done hardly gotten anybody hardly damage. Steel, you're going down, buddy. 
you were going down. We'll attack him, Myers. I'm using the spectral great crossbow. Um The warfare's easy to be round, but the head somehow continues speaking. Still a few problems with this build. I know. Next time I'll try a different rune arm. Or maybe a crossbow. I will do both. So this is uh Strim's uh Arcano Technician build. Um I find it very cool. You. Welcome, he cries cheerfully as he raises his weapon. Already down. One thing I did notice is that the um, these two particular critters in like their versions in the actual Isle of Dread also have the name Parting. They just don't have the party hats on them. And they didn't used to have the name parting. I think it's just during the anniversary that they have Hold them. There we go. Not cool, cool. You can't quite make it out, but you think it was something like, not cool, cool. Hey, Zen, how you doing? I'm playing a half elf artificer today, and I'm about to go uh, kill the executive producer of the game, or at least his in-game avatar. <clears throat> a figure sits brooding on a throne, surrounded by skulls. Step easy down. One last defiant look. Next time, it won't be so easy. You don't need to kill the rust monster here to complete. I've already got the, what I needed, but it's nice not to leave anything alive. All right, <clears throat> let's go for Lenabel. You see a perfectly ordinary door. <clears throat> yeah. I think I've actually met a every single one of the devs that are mentioned in here. Something about this area feels strange. No, to actually, you. the ones you have to actually actively go after. <clears throat> oh, Flimsy's back here in the corner. You need to kill Flimsy. Easy down. Now, being an artificer, I can do my own trapping, which I love, 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 love. It's not in here. She's out in the hallway. And collapses. Don't even need to use the rest shrine there in the corner. We get that. So what we're gonna do today is gonna alternate running this event with actually questing. Harbor so I'll get more XP for questing. 
the kobolds have taken over the chapter house. No one is allowed back there until we get the situation under control. The harbor master nods at the door. The kobolds are back there. Maybe you can do something with them. Un momento, por favor. Hmm. Something did not go well. There we go. I don't know why Stream Deck did not disable that like it's supposed to. I think it's because uh, Stream Elements is not in the chat right now for some reason. Nice one. See, Cobalt still hates me. I, I feel I feel loved. have transformed the chapter house into an armed camp. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Honestly, most this character does most of her damage with her lightning attacks, not with anything else. I'm a loot goblin. I like to actually get all the loot going on. Kobold shamans mock you from above. You not like kobolds here? Now you know how kobolds feel when you go in their sewers. Kobolds never forget! And that uh, cheerful cheerleader voice you're hearing in the background is actually my current sentient gem. It's called the Hopeful.
still don't really need to shrine. Alright. Still. Kobolds scamper through the seats of the darkened theater. They cry. The kobolds jeer at you as you approach the gate. We not give you key. We keep dark overlord safe. A pair of kobolds peer down an open trapdoor. You go down! You lost it! Says one to the other. Fortune favors the bold! You spot the new dark overlord of all the kobolds standing atop the throne. It's no neither then. Jeets thinks that becoming a dark overlord will win over Malicia's heart. You'll need to enlist her help if you want to save the addled halfling from himself. You spot an unexpected figure among the party guests. Your old nemesis, Melissa. Oh, all right. Sighs Melissa. We've done this so many times, I'm not even worried about little friend. Now to return letting to the Jeets quest take a sweet old time. I'm in a mind. hurry. Melissa uses her arcane powers to open a pathway leading into the mind of Jeets. It's very clear what's on Jeets' mind. Melissa is not amused. The dark form reports from your side. Oi, this won't do at all. A good steep dose of bad stuff will keep me in top form. The dark overlord seems to be weakening. I know what you're trying to do, but the bad thoughts, they're too strong. The Dark Overlord fades away, and the Jeets you know returns. Perhaps this experience has made him a wiser, more thoughtful happening. No, it doesn't seem likely. Let's get some loot. We're going to take our next level. And I got 10 party favors. Okay. Okay, 250 party favors to get the thing. To get the gem that we're looking for. First thing I'm going to do is go over to the bar, 
and sell the crap that it's picked up. So we're going to take 29 and then we're going to go up to Evening Star and do some things. Um, repair, nothing need to repair. Let's see. Nope. Um, that could be useful. Uh, nope, 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 nope. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go talk to the epic fate spinner first. <laughs> Gonna ride the best horse in the game currently. Only available if you're super duper lucky or... I might as well just actually go up to the airship because I can... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to go to Evening Star anywho, so I'm going to go to Evening Star via the airship. Oh. Let me do that. Not that I really need to. I'm trying to think of the best way to... Wait, I don't think I can even get to Evening Star from here. Can I? Uh, how, well, I could go to the Hall of Heroes. It is a cool horse. This is the Huntsman horse. I'm actually going to cheat to get the Evening Star. Give me Evening Star is in the Forgotten Realms. Whereas uh, the main game setting is Eberron. But if you're VIP, you can just do a quick transfer to the Forgotten Realms and it'll bounce you into the Forgotten Realms Hall of Heroes. So you can just go from there. Unless you do enough questing and stuff in Evening Star that you earn the key to Evening Star, which is a very handy thing to have. Every tavern buzzes with the tales of monster raiders gathering in the Stormhorns. Most blame famine, season, or feuds. But the Harpers know a far more dangerous threat is at work. One that will call upon heroes of the ages to strike it down. Well, don't get much of anything except I am now at a higher level, which is always amazing. Level 29. So now we're going to start doing the storm horns. Uh, I also have other quests I can do. I didn't want to do that. There you go. Part of the problem this game has is it doesn't have a lot of quests uh, from 20 to 20 to 30. Um, it has a crap ton of quests from 30 onward. Ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Eighth Grail Silver Flame. <sighs> Have I done Tower Frost on this character? Tower Frost is actually one of my favorite quests to do because it's it's a little bit of a silliness. Um, Tower Frost, I have not done it yet, so I will do Tower Frost today. So y'all can listen to the community manager, Cordovan. Um, welcome you to see a bold thing. It's a fun little quest, but we're gonna, uh, do the one in the Stormhorns first. Because it's a fun little quest. It's a pretty quick quest. We'll see how we do.
Hey, it's so pleasant out here, isn't it? All right, we've got a bunch of quests to do. And we're going to do this on Epic. We're going where to do what? <gasps> that sounds amazing! One of the reasons why I like this particular sentient gem, it does not... I mean, it's a bit of a sugar-sweet cheerleader, but... Um, the Resolute was the other one I was trying out and was not liking it very well. Alright. Let's summon my other two dudes just to have them ready. Alright, let's go to do Yarrow Glade real quick. It's, it's the closest one. And also the first one in the queue. Let's go! I'm having a bit of a quiet day today. Uh, I will probably be doing some stuff for the university later today, and I also have a meeting, uh, a university meeting tomorrow at, during my lunch break at work. It'll be amazing. All right, we're gonna do this on Epic Hard. I mean, I could try to do it on Elite. You know what? Let's try it on Elite just for giggles and see what happens. <clears throat> Orobon stands in the middle of the glade. Now, where did I put that blasted journal? You mean this book oh, on the ground? Oh, here. Be a good sport and lend me a hand. My journal has wandered off. Oh, it can't have gone far. It's somewhere in this glade. I've lost too many pages as it is. Ay, ay, ay. There it is. <laughs> How did I ever miss it there? Because now, you're an idiot! I've got a great deal to tell you, but now may not be the time. I fear that any moment those sneaking netheries bar two dark robed wizards appear at the end of the glade. You accuse me, you skulking, spying little nobleman? Says one. <laughs> that is rich. Now let this game end. I have already won. There. Now you can't go scurrying back the way you came. Silver comes with me, and the rest of you may die as my comrade here sees fit. So long. The wizard teleports with Orophon, leaving the others behind to fight. As if I would waste my time. The other wizard. These woods are crawling with the Netherese. Before you have any hope of learning what became of Orophon, you must make it out alive. We shall do that. No, the the root wall here has weakened, either because of the cave collapse or because Orophon's wards have faded. The gnolls fought for the Netherese. Just as the orcs did in Orophon's glade. The Netherese and I have been playing a game of cat and mouse since I stole their nether scroll back in Weiloon. Only each of us is cat and mouse both. If I can dodge their assassins a bit longer, I may be onto something. Looking up. Don't trust the squirrel! That's why. Ah! Really? Really? Actually, the hires are on this side. Turn 
normal page. Clicky, there we go. Defeated a rather brutish agent of the Netherese last night. I have his staff and some papers. His staff is dangerous. I trust it to my friend Halsing for safekeeping. And with luck, these papers will bear fruit. Sometimes this happens or it won't let you pick it up. Okay, people, get off of the thing. Get over here. Get off the thing. No, get over here. Stay. Sometimes thing what? It is completely blocked. Alas. It kind of sucks. You get loot and you can't even pick it up. Ooh, lag. the one pressure plate. At last, I've made some headway with these damned papers. They were magically concealed, of course. What they reveal is beyond troubling. It seems I will be making an expedition to the Stormborns on their account. Alas, a little time for picnics and fox hunting when I'm there. Knowles stand guard over a magic barrier. Thiefy says hi. More magic barriers. These caves must be where the Netherese staged their surprise attack. All right, I actually missed a turn. Uno momento. We need to go that this way. Do anything else? We have this one who wants to say hi to everybody. You know, kitty. With a toothy smile, Harug gestures northward to the entrance of his camp. Is anybody back here? No. Yeah. 
The Netherese and their minions are dead. Horog, the half-orc, can return to his camp. I think I actually need to talk to what's his face. When I did this on another character literally yesterday, I think I forgot to actually talk to him afterwards. Thank you. The yeah, I didn't get the XP says, for that. You have given me back my home. On the other level, but that one, yeah. It was, was only in the life. last ten days that I at last set foot in the Stormhorns. These lands seem thick with Netherese assassins. And I fear my presence has not gone entirely unnoticed. Still, I am here, and not a moment too soon. What are you doing, thief? What are you doing, thief? <coughs> Meow! Come here. Come here. Come here! You, you want to come? Come here and get your butt over here. Come on, get your butt. Let go. Come on. Let go of everything. Stop being up ahead. Get up here. Cat hair. Cat hair is like sand, it gets in everything. Alright, now let's go uh, deal with these guys over here. Because the next room is actually one of the trickiest ones in the whole freaking quest. My first discovery. An army of giants, orcs, and other monstrous creatures gather- A sinewy hill giant guards yet another magic portal. Nice. Oh, Mr. Permanent. This fight could be tough. Get the skull board real quick. Or shoot the guy. Kitty thief! I'm using a, uh, hey Bill, how's it going? Doing okay, good, good. Ironically, my uh, my crossbow is doing the least amount of the damage to that I'm doing right such now. such disparate monsters into one organized army, what bribes and threats must the Netherese have used? How strong are those bonds? I must pray a weak link may be found. Alright, I'm gonna bang a left here to go do the optional for the druid. The mad druid. 
Would a different bow make more damage? Echoes from beyond um, the cave. yeah. Be gone, you cursed nether I'm actually using no a level you. 28 crossbow. And the damage is actually really nice um, for that weapon. The problem is, this is actually a casting build. So I should be using my spells and not really my crossbow, uh, except for finishing moves, as it were. So, yay! <clears throat> I warn you, the voice continues. I will not have oh, this grow profane. Oh, this looks like a trap. Just a random ass chest. Oh, it's a mimic! Nice! The voice grows near. Mimics can be tough, as you can see, it's kicking my ass. No matter. my sanctuary. Now you must pay the price. Oh, it killed me. Nice. Except I've got a healer who can res me. The downside is I just lost a bunch of XP because there's a flawless death bonus out there. That's unfortunate. I don't think any loot from the mimic. Oh man. Feels like I should be able to loot the mimic. Let me get these pressure plates. Sell. Ah, screw it. It definitely does get confusing when I have an owlbear and he has an owlbear. Everybody has an owlbear. Oh wait, what am I trying to do? Evade in medium armor? He sought to defend. Ooh. Fire absorption, the heal bonus would be nice. Um, I think I like the natural armor better. Ooh, guild renown. I am always down for guild renown. How are we doing on Guild Renown? Eh. Oh, you know what I need to do? Just remembered. I remembered. Whoop. Make it all blue. Oh, come on. There we go. Yay, blue UI! There's another. I actually need to go dig into, um, ironically, all the DDO UIs. Uh, are found on lochointerface.com <laughs> because DDO doesn't have its own plugins site like that. So it is where it is. Uh, and uh, there's a couple other blue ones out there. This is just the first one I ever found. So I like it. And it goes well with this character. Alright. So how you doing, Zen? What are you up to besides watching me? Because, you know, that's boring. You want to fight? Yeah, I will kill you first. 
Hi everybody, how y'all doing? All these gnolls. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Uh -huh. Alright. I like how it just like Zorch is like half a million people. Those assassins can be tough, so you gotta watch out for them. Kitty. It's being a howly boy. I need two more pages of the journal. And one of them should be coming up soon. The other one should be coming up soon as well. Another one in here. He is blocked right here. Must keep searching. Somewhere there's an answer. To gather an army of rough brutes and simply march on Cormier. It is unlike the Netherese. There is some trick, some clever feint woven into this. There must be an answer. And I will find it. There we go. Last they have seen page. me now. I'm certain of it. The wizard Shy stands in the clearing. Barring your way. You. She's. Anscar has ordered your death, she continues. Let's make this painless for me. With a gesture, she draws on oars in the corner of the glade, shielding herself with a protective spell. Magic orbs destroyed. Shy's shield goes down. Taking a breath, Shy deftly casts a spell, restoring both her shield and the orbs. Taking a breath, Shy deftly casts a spell, restoring both her shield and the orbs. Oh, I got punted! Yeah! That can happen.
says, be on the own. Come to my aid. The pseudo dragon falls to the ground, dead. Shy flies into a rage at the loss of her faithful familiar. You won't get we did the it. Woman. The wizard wheezes with her final breaths. Amscar took him up, up to the peak. Awesome. Just being lazy today. I hear you. Wish I could be lazy. I'm always doing something. Okay. We can go do the next quest, which is Temple Rock Pass. Going for a ride. Yeah, Temple Rock Pass will be an interesting one. I'm gonna try it on Elite and see if I can uh, accomplish it. It'll be an adventure. It's actually one of the more unusual quests Didio has in the game. I think it's supposed to sound like sun and lightning, but it sure as hell doesn't sound like sun and lightning to me. And we're ignoring all the little side quests for this wilderness because I'm not interested and they're not going to give me enough XP to worry about. The rendezvous point deep the harbor gestures to the edge of the camp. One of the rocks is an illusion. Here, it is gone now. You have a few minutes to prepare before the convoys arrive. Noel snipe down from the edge of the cliff. A threat to anyone below. might actually be able to do something with her change because I'm on a character that can do artificing. <laughs> I think they don't tell you how many null trappers you have to worry about. those dudes you have to worry about up here.
me. Okay, I think I got them all up here. I didn't, otherwise I would have gotten the optional already. The only thing I've never really done for this particular quest is the bit where you can talk to the harpies because I've never done that one. You've cleared the right, no snipers from their overlook. So you can talk to the harpies up that away, and uh, they will help you in the fight. But sometimes I've never actually managed to do it. So We'll see how those do for us. The time for preparation is over. The Netherese convoys are entering Tumble Rock Pass.
You've deprived the Netherese army of more than half of their supplies. Kyra armed them to salvage some of them and placed it in a chest back at her harbor camp. Somewhere above. Oof. It's the harper you spoke to earlier. The camp at the end of the valley. An armed party just a You've eliminated every supply Oof. convoy. That was fun. Not a single one made it through to the Netherese army. Kyra Armon has another chest waiting for you back at her camp. Nice. However, I'm going to use the restaurant. Now's a good time to take a breather. Mm-hmm. Hang on, I need to answer her, Dr. Maggie. <laughs> Add five, five, two. Five to nine? No. Um. One plus five is six to nine. Okay. Okay. Let's redeem the buffs. Um, ah. Oh, it replaced my fire. My things. Nice. Oh, because I rested. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, let's go! Fight the bad guys! Go back to Twitch chat.
get the barrels because I want the breakables. There we go. Oh, hey, you could break the tents? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Oh, let me get to the back wall first. Why can I not see anything? The giant general Toast. falls, and with him goes the scheme to supply the Netherese army across Tumble Rock Pass. Take this chest. Now, because we did the optionals, uh, we have a couple of chests waiting at the entrance of the quest. Which we'll go do and get right now. This is definitely a quest that could use mounts in it. It was made before mounts were ever included in the game. On the other hand, having mounts would pretty much make it way too easy. So the only XP I didn't get from this one was getting, um, do, 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 see, look at all that XP. Hell yeah. Uh, I think the only thing I didn't do was get the, um, get the harpies in on it. So first time on Elite Difficulty got an extra bonus. Uh, because I've never done it before and chosen to play an Elite, extra bonus. And... Yeesh. 20% XP boost going on until Wednesday. So now I get a couple extra chests. Yay! More guild renown. And I'm not going to get, like, amazingly great stuff out of here, but it was nice. Okay, so let's go do the anniversary again, um, because it'll be fun and we should ding, well, get our next action point anyway. Pardon me. Alright, what's going on in Slack? Okay, so I have a couple of choices. Either I can continue with one of the other quests here, or if I zap, zap out. Uh, I think I'm going to zap out, actually, because I need to uh, clean the bags out. So, one thing I will need to do is get a new hireling. My hireling is gone. 
And I did want to, like, waffle between the anniversary event and, uh, this content. Might actually do, um, we could do, uh, the Frosty one, Tower of Frost. Cause that's, I don't know why, but I really enjoy playing that quest. Okay. I was thinking of streaming No Man's Sky, but the thing about No Man's Sky is the simple fact that, um... It really eats up a lot of memory. So, here we go. We can turn in two quests. La, da, 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 dum. Turn in your quest. And this is where you're going to get yourself a nice pair of boots. Uh, protection plus nine. Except my boots are actually really good already, so I don't need them. Um, and the problem with any of the... And I don't know why this isn't blue like these two. Um, the problem with these is they're bind a character, so, bleh. Um, one thing I do need is, uh, better armor. And this is better armor. Uh, it's like for pair amps 21 plus 7. Um, actually, the armor that I have is better. The problem is that it is medium armor. I really need to start getting myself, um, even though I have the capability to use medium armor, um, by the way, I like how they organize all this shit. This is so nice. Um, because I have evasion, um, you can't use evasion if you're in medium armor. So, even though I do have medium armor proficiency, I shouldn't use it. What do I have? Oh, great crossbow. Um, wait, I forgot to take my reward. <sighs> I should get some light armor, is what I really should do. I'll take those, because I don't really care. I can't believe we did it! Oh, I can't either. Especially an elite. Hello? Okay, so choices. We do have a death block belt. Always a good thing, though. The spell resistance, I don't use tumble. Um, the cloak could be useful. Axe block, spear block, accuracy. Mm. I think this would actually be more useful. Though the Guardian's Cloak is actually better. Hello? Hmm. I can't believe we did it! Okay. Laurent is gonna tell me to go talk to the next person. Which, you know, we've already done. We haven't done his quest yet. But we are going to... Pick up some hirelings. And we're also going to go back to Eberron. But first we're going to go to the pub. Let's go to the pub. Oh, Maggie, what do you want, Dr. Maggie? Trying to schedule a meeting. Important stuff for Signum University. Hell yeah. Alright, we're gonna keep the cloak. We're gonna keep the shoes. We're gonna keep the other cloak. Okay, corrosive, massive resistance. What do I have now? Ooh, jeez. Level 12. See, the, the level of your gear is not quite as important. Unless you're comparing apples and apples, like, if I had a level 24 version of these corrosive gloves, the corrosion would be less, the resistance would be less, but it's different, so I'm comparing apples to oranges right now. Alright. Let's sell gems, sell what other remaining stuff I have here. Take all the shatter... 
rings, rings. Using a level 10 ring. Lightning lo Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. I mean, the ring of Nightfall is really nice for level 10. Um, I'm going to swap that ring out. I'm so used to hitting the C for character stuff. Okay, so this lightning lord, we're gonna switch out. Um, honestly, honestly, I think I'm gonna keep the level t 10 ring. Because I could still use even those little bits of things. I can use them more than I can use an extra 214 spell points. So we're going to switch out the green ring right here. Because that lightning lore is definitely better. Um, plus the fact that I have... Ooh, you know what I could use? Oh, this is my disabled device thing. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, fire lore. Okay, I think that's gonna be better. Okay. Mm, I think I'm gonna hang on to that wizard because having a, an extra spell points thing can be useful. But for right now, I think that'll be good. All right. Three things over here. I do like to organize my crap. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go pick up a new hireling. Where's the hireling vendor? Over here. Okay, so I've been using the level 27 hireling. I'm only going to get... Mm. Let's get one, two. Let's get two. Um, I don't think I'll use them both. <gasps> Ooh, I was gonna go do the Haunted Halls of Evening Star since I'm here. Yes. We're gonna go do the Haunted Halls of Evening Star first because there's a shit ton of XP to be had in there. And as a character who has... Who does the Haunted Halls of Evening... No, yeah, that's Study and Sable. Which is a really fun quest, by the way. Um, is it Alan Virgo? Who gives the quest? Uh, yes! Tell me the story! Let's go do the Haunted Halls of Evening Star. Because it's a long-ass quest. It'll take me the next hour and a half. And y'all won't be bored watching me listen to Cordovan. <laughs> okay. Let's go do the haunted halls. And I'll probably do that on epic, n epic, hard. I don't think I can do it on elite. I'm not that good. All right, wait, it's down here, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it on hard, level twenty nine. I am not confident enough in my ability to do it on. Uh, you someone must complete the halls. Uh, if you do not have any quest journal, you must find the quest giver to obtain. Okay, let's go. All right, let's summon my people. 
This is a long quest and a very convoluted quest. And we're going to go through all of it. I'm not going to summon my other people because they'll just die way too easy. Okay, set you all on aggressive. You know, I forgot to summon my doggo. Good job, me. Man, my doggo could have laid waste to those guys. Ay, 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 ay. Good job, Druid. Alright, let's go. Keeping to the well lit path. Screw that. The entrance to the lair of the infamous bandit king Rivior. Tales of twisting corridors and deadly traps dissuade most travelers from entering. Now, this is really cool, this quest. Um, Ed Greenwood is the co creator of the Forgotten Realms setting in Evening Star, so it's kind of cool. A voice in magical tones emanates from the rubble. Beware. These were carried in by those who will never carry them out again. It's pretty cool getting to be the trapper. Rather than having, like, Frogo or somebody take care of this. Okay. Now, I'm going to park everybody down here and hope my evasion is good enough for it. Except I don't have evasion, so we're going to have fun. Oof. This is rough. See, I would have done better if I had regular armor on. Good job, me. Okay, now it's safe to bring in the dudes. Now, having the, um... The spectral, uh, the weapons I have are going to be really good in this quest because of all the undead. Alright, let me get my Remy back here. I'm also going to put up the mini-map because I don't know where the hell I'm going. <clears throat> in fact, I'm also going to put up the quest map. Uh, DDO Wiki, Haunted Halls of Evening Star, Haunted, um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Haunted Halls of Evening Star. Okay. So there's actually two maps available. Interesting. One map seems to be better than the other one. I'm going to put this one down here so I can actually see it. Except I can't really see it. Okay, so do 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 I think there's one of the dudes that we're not gonna be able to accomplish because it requires a long, long thing. Okay. Uh, let me pop the other one. So I'm gonna focus on this for a little bit. I apologize if I'm ignoring you. And by apologize, I mean I'm not going to be sorry about it at all. Okay, so. Quest entrance. Where are we? Okay, so there's the quest entrance. We're over in this hallway. There is actually nothing down there. Go down here. A narrow walkway passes over the main corridor where you first entered. The walkway appears to lead into another section of the haunted halls. A 
A dozen armed defenders were alert in these guard quarters day and night. Their ghosts keep watch over their beloved halls, even in death. And yes, I do want to do all of the breakables. I want to plumb this for every last bit of XP I can get. Thing is, I have to do it in an hour and a half because that's when my XP booster runs away. I don't think I have a spare on me. Okay, so there's nothing here. Oh, there's a door. So I guess here. into an evil smelling hole. Oddly, a rope allows you to climb down. But why would you want to? Because there's something down there, that's why. That's actually the way to climb back up. All right, we're gonna go the other way into the privy. actually taking the back way to get to some certain places this way winds northward perhaps it leads to the other half of the complex Good dodge. I feel like you can see through the walls but you're not actually seeing through the walls it's danger I'm in danger. Okay. Three doors are suspiciously lined up along the southeast wall. Which one is the way forward? Not either of these two. It's always the third door. Don't ever go down here, you will fall and die. And don't go down there because there are a crap ton of traps. So I think there's actually a trap door. Or a trap thing. What am I doing? Except my dudes are fighting things over here. Necromancers die first because uh, I guess where necromancers what necromancers do is they res the dead these zombies are endless you have to find their source if you hope to stop them oh free chest my doggo is having fun somewhere Doggo already went in here and started killing things. I'm so proud of my doggo. Alright, I'm spotting a hidden thing. A secret door. There's like secret doors out the ass in here. If Hello! this bit of treasure was overlooked by looters in the past, there may be others to be found elsewhere in the halls. Something's happening in my channel. Yana 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 with the bitty bits. Necromancers are coming <laughs> corpse after corpse. One shot the necro. No more zombies will be made here. 
Zombie come out in the from nearby rooms. <laughs> but uh, I'm following maps uh, in case you're wondering what I'm actually doing. This map is not as cool as the other one, I don't think. Yay, yeah, Remy! Somebody's fighting somebody somewhere, so. Uh, the owl bear is in this room. Oh, leg. Owl bear, what are you doing? What are you doing? You just chilling? Okay. Okay. New apartment! New apartment smell! It's always the best thing, isn't it? Yay! Finding all the treasure rooms will get me way more XP. And if I were running this with a friend, um, we probably wouldn't be going after all these chests because he's not a loot goblin. Like I am. I'm a loot goblin. I love getting... Oh, hello. Danger, danger! Barrier on the door. It's coalescing from the negative magic of the necromancers and undead. You'll need to clear them from the doorway to get through. Feels like there should be something here. Bearing the emblem of the Zentarin. You need it. I'm not too worried about the money, but I'll take the money. Because money is good. Hey, he dropped a little chest of his own. Give me your loot! Give me your loot! This is gonna be like running like ICC, right? For any long ass raid in, in in WoW and going through and not being able to, you know, you have to like start throwing away loot and I'm like, no! Vader, no! Alright. Okay. There's supposed to be another crest. I wanna see if I missed the crest. It was supposed to be in one of these two rooms. I picked up one. I think there was... Yeah. Okay, so there's a crest that could have been found in one any one of these three rooms. I 
Like there could have been one back here. So I already picked it up. Okay, okay. Let me put my other map down here. This one's actually better, I think. Okay, so there's supposed to be uh, an extra room here, but we already found it. Okay, so I already did that. So let's go back. Out this way. Oh man, my hand smells like cat food. I blame Thief Kitty. Ah, get off of that. Went in here. Went in this room over here. I'm trying to be very methodical so I get as much XP out of these rooms as possible. Okay, went in here. There may be a secret door back here. Aha, there is. More treasure. We have got to get these guys down. You appear to be near a cobalt glare. This crossbow emplacement must be part of their outer defenses. It would be prudent to watch out for more of these crossbows. You think? Okay, got the little treasure room. Can't remember if the crossbow was aimed at me. Well, they're facing that way, so. The main thing is if you do this in the wrong direction, they will murderize you and your party with a crossbow. Hey, get off the mysterious Remy. On the other hand, you can also take uh, control of the crossbow and murder people in your own stead. However, we're going this way because there's the bad guy. There's a gong in the kobold chieftain's lair. An aura of dark divine magic emanates from it. Got him. I will take your key, though. Hey, don't hit your gong. Except all your kobolds are dead! Having a hire that can do resto on you. You've decimated this kobold clan and defeated its high priest. Hopefully, yep. their dark god is not a spiteful one. <laughs> well, if their god is a spiteful one, I'll knock him on his ass too. Ooh, what do we get? Oh, heavy armor. Or at least medium. More medium armor. Really need to start getting better light armor. I have light armor somewhere. I just need to use it so I can actually take advantage of evasion. Alright, get all of those. So I think we 
we've got this little segment cleared. Yeah, we're back here. I feel a draft. Is it an NFL draft? Oh, it's just a back way into this little area. Remember, we are not going through those other doors. No, 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 no. I think this one might have... Curious, there's nothing behind this door but a blank wall. Not gonna worry about it. Okay, there is a shrine. The door to the left is rigged to pull out a keystone in the floor. Opening it will cause the floor to collapse. Unfortunately, the mechanism appears to be in the other side of the door. There's no way to disarm it. Oh no. Well, we're not gonna worry about it. We are, however, gonna use the shrine here. A nice quiet moment for me to work on the story of your adventures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this uh, particular... Particular... Sentient gem is a little bit of a cheerleader. Okay. So we pretty much cleared out that segment of the rooms. <clears throat> now we're gonna go get some others. Okay. Let me redo my buffs. There we go. Ah! Okay, we're going this way. There's a room this way. Oh, this is a trap. This is a trap. But there's a treasure chest, so... I am going to park everybody here, and I'm going to run through the trap. The lever on the wall is clamped with a jeweled lock. Perhaps a jewel... The chest is empty, save for a single key. It also emits key? an acrid gas that rapidly spreads around the room. Except I'm immune to acid! Hello! <laughs> I did the thing. Because I am clever sometimes. In the face. Bring the people with me. Okay. Bring this part of the map up. Okay, we're going down here. Beyond the great doors, the central passage of Rivior's halls rises in cascades of grandiose steps. Whatever treasures and dangers this desolate place holds lie before you now. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so there is actually a trap in here. Oh yeah, the statues. There is a faint metallic smell in the room. And, so and the doors and statues radiate strong magic. Far too soon.
Satan has been killed recently, obviously for purposes of evil sorcery. The body has not yet begun to decay. If not for the dagger, she would appear to be asleep. Okay, um... Uh, my spellcraft is really good. That's my UMD. My UMD is not as good, so we'll do the spellcraft and see what happens. Even though the maiden doesn't move a muscle, she somehow looks more peaceful after you remove the dagger. The dagger itself is useless for fighting, but the pommel opens to reveal a jeweled key inside. Hello, we needed that. So go us. Get that. So we did the thing. Let's go back to our buddies out in the hallway. Where I left them. Okay, so. <laughs> Done all that. And now we need to go this away. Back to the entrance hall. This turret is rotten. Its crossbow perished long ago. The trigger, bowstring, and quarrel have crumbled to dust. Okay, so we're back at the entrance. Don't need to actually go in there. Um, except we can't go this way. We have to actually go through this way. Let me out, let me out. Oh no, I'm not strong enough. Actually, what's really funny is a lot of times you fail these skill checks and then you can just make one of your hires do it and they can do it. Go Owlbear for the win! Okay, so you go through the hidden tunnel. Again, through the Trappy McTrap area, which we've already dealt with. And we've already gone down that away. We haven't gone this away very far. So we got these two doors. We're going to go do the side quest into all the sewers, because there's always sewers. This fellow still holds a key in his hand, even though he perished long ago while sitting on the privy. Now you're, you're basically supposed to be able to jump across. And if you fail, then you got a long ways back to come back and try it again. Oh! No, stop running, stop running. There, we got it! Now let's fall down the privy, because there's something down here. What? There's treasure down in the shitter. You've what? You've fallen into a chasm beneath Rivior's Keep. It reeks of dung and decay down here. It's a sewer. What a wonderful smell you found. Now there is supposed to be something down this way. To the north end. We've already killed the thing, um, the exit's down at the other end. But there's something up here first. I got knocked down. Can I get up again? I ain't never gonna... Wow, something hit me for what? Oh. Oh, if you stand in the puddles... Could knock you down because it stanks. A 
skeleton dangles on a chain from a privy above. This poor soul must have fallen especially far out of Riviera's favor to have earned such a fate. Nothing there. Nothing here. And then you just run down to the other end where we got out, where we killed that one uh, spider. Let us out, let us out! There, we're done with the loo. And we don't lose too much, uh, too much, uh, distance here. Let me double check. Yeah, we just have to run back, uh, this way. Actually, we want to go down this way. We don't want to go to the upper gallery. We want to actually go down this way. This way. Hi, Spike. Spike's my doggo. Back here. All right, we're done with that. Let's go here. So how is everybody else doing? Ooh, danger! Will Robinson, danger! If only, if only there were an artificer here. Or a rogue or a trapper of some kind. I'll stand back here. I'm actually going to disarm all of these. See, the person I normally run with occasionally when uh, we've done this quest, he's always just basically been like, I'm just going to run through them. I'm like, really? See, I want this case I'm running about on my own and I'm running for all of the XP. See, look at that. This boosted my tamper bonus. Okay. Isn't there supposed to be a secret? Where am I? Okay. Yeah, there's a secret door coming up. <laughs> Doing laundry, free laundry weekend at your apartment? Nice. That is very nice. Okay. Lever, secret door. Down here. This gate looks like it's controlled by a mechanism elsewhere. Puzzle! Sometimes the puzzles in this game are really, really fun. Sometimes they're just really fucking annoying. <laughs> Jumping puzzles being the latter option there. Jumping puzzles are the devil. Okay, so before we go down this hallway, uh, there is a trap that you cannot disarm over there. 
However, I want to go this way. There is a puzzle down here that I want to do the puzzle. Take care, Zin. Holy crap. Poor per- Oh, danger, danger. Stranger danger. Okay, so this one's uh, going to be a little bit of an adventure. We fall down, we fall down into the loo. Okay, y'all stay here. So this is very much like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Where the lights are is where it's safe to jump. The floor in this area has become very weak, corroded from below. You will collapse if you attempt to cross. And I fell in the There doesn't the... appear to be a way to avert the danger. And we're back in the toilet, so let's run out to get... We'll leave the dudes upstairs. Fortunately, it's not that far of a run back, but there is something worth coming in back here for, so... At least now we know where the floor has fallen. And we can better judge our jumps this time around. And this is why you clear out the mobs from point A to point B. <laughs> Going this way. It is a bit of a run back. True, true. But a lot easier once you've actually been able to come, you know, get those traps out of the way. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, going the wrong way. Where are we going? Where are we going? And one of his journals. The water is murky and slimy, like something's been rotting in it. The source of the rot becomes apparent as the zombies come zombies out rise and up they call and them on names. Want you to join, you want to eat your brain. Another is to do where they sat with dying breath. I'm gonna fight the dead. Yeah, Lee Nightingales! How's it going? All the pride logos all over the place. What she do is she just set everything on fire. Wow, look at all these freaking free chests I'm getting. I, I 
They kind of look like they're doing something inappropriate. I'm just saying. Holy crap, look at all the free chests. Well, I hope I have more bag space because I'm going to need it. in the water all right let's get the key first look at all this fucking loot hell yes <clears throat> like all the pride biddies man I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space for all this stuff. Like I said, okay, this is where we're gonna start being crafty. Uh, start throwing away stuff that I don't actually need. Get your guys out in the hallway here. I'll stay there. We finished my looting. Okay. Let's be crafty, people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And the, the unfortunate thing is the keys also take space. So, that's unfortunate. Alright, I don't ever need wands of anything. Goggles of Spot? Hello, hello. Spot, Insightful Seeker. Ooh. Well, see if things already have a Spot 19, UMD. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Talk here. Toss that. So I can loot this, loot this, loot this. Don't care about those. Don't really care about the shield either. What I can do is get rid of one of these stacks of bolts. That'll just make some more if I need any. Good. We got them all? Holy crap. Look how many freaking chests that was. That was amazing. Alright, now let's get back across here without falling into the privy. Or maybe we'll just fall in the privy and say just the hell with it and just run back. Always appreciate you stopping by, Lee, as always. Bum 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 Let's go back to my dudes. Now we'll oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that. Okay. Where did you see a secret door, Spectral Grey Crossbow? There isn't a secret door here, by the way. Oh, 
Well, there is one, but I already found it, so I don't know what the crossbow is on about. And by the crossbow, I mean the sentient gem. That was remarkable. See, there, it's acting like there's something here, but there's like something down here. Not gonna shrine just yet. Um, there are other shrines we can get to. Um, soon. Soon, TM. Oh no, my buffs are gone! What I should do is I should actually sh Well, hmm, there's all kinds of shrines going for it. Let me shrine up back here and use that one up. Oh, hey, look. Yeah. Now's a good time to take a breather. A little bit mad at myself. I missed yesterday's Twitch drops for No Man's Sky. But I have been, uh, I actually have a Twitch channel open uh, in another window, but it's muted. Uh, currently collecting today's Twitch drop. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, got my stuff back. All right. Let me go catch back up to my dudes and we'll go have some fun. We'll go complete that puzzle at long last. Fortune favors the bold. She keeps saying that like I'm doing something. I'm wondering if like one of my hirelings is finding something. But typically I would hear something from them. Hmm. I'll take care of those in a minute. <laughs> hey, y'all are just chilling over there? Okay. Have fun. Okay, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Let's do the puzzle. Now, the person I normally run with likes to do puzzles front ways. I like to do them backwards. Trace it back from where we're going. I think you can actually change these around too, which is very fascinating and very fun. So this one you could actually do this way. So you can't really do this one this way. You have to do this a different way. They did say watch for the prisoners. You are really good at this. It doesn't go anywhere. I think we need something going up here, though. Go here.
know the bad guys are coming. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. There's nothing else in here. All right, now let's go back to that room whose door required us to do this puzzle. This is Dungeons and Dragons Online. Um, oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that. So we can either go through this particular door here or there's this hallway there's a door right here Neat. So there's a door there but there's also this hallway where there's these things that I want to disable because I get bonus for disabling things amazing Problem is these take forever to disable. This is also made by uh, Standing Stone Games, the folks who make Lord of the Rings Online. <clears throat> they share some of the same devs. Legendary. And what you're hearing is a sentient gem which is a game mechanic that is basically a sentient jewel you add to your weapon that makes your weapon talk and you can also um, add little things to it to allow it to um, become more powerful. So that's how those things work? Exciting! And this one is called uh, of the Sentient Jewel of Hope which is basically like a goddamn cheerleader sometimes. But there's a couple others out there. There's one that is of uh there's one of a dragon there's one that's um how did that even happen uh, there's a couple others there's one called the resolute which i had been using but it, it sounds like a, a drill sergeant yelling at you all the time half the time so i'm like yep nope, i'm done with that one so what i have here with me are hirelings basically like battle companions that you're like the legion was ones who would run with you your body, personal bodyguard things. And they have certain functions they can do for you. Like, one is set to heal people. One is set to... Um, you can also resurrect if you die, which is very handy. It doesn't, as long as it doesn't go jinkies. No, it doesn't go jinkies. Hi, Galvis. How you doing? That was remarkable. I think there's a blade trap up here. Yeah, there's something that I cannot disable. I don't really think I need to go through that hallway, so we're just gonna go back this way. How did that even happen? For some reason, this thing is actually talking a lot more than I'm used to it talking. I just like knock him over. Wow, really? That was good. More stuff that I can't use. My bags are full. Except my bags weren't full. Because I used a key. Nice. Amazing. Alright, let's get the journal. Okay, we got the chest. Maybe we could just come in through this other door, too. Alas. Why well, wasted a key for no reason? Okay. Nothing down this hallway. Nothing Amazing. There. Except my danger sense is telling me there's something back there. No. Okay. Um. This hallway is fun. We're not gonna do it right now. We're gonna go down this way. There is another person we can murder. Down the corridor, a number of ghosts appear to be having some sort of tiff. It might be easier to just go around. As they did in life, Rivior's company slumbered in the barracks' beds. 
Awakened by your movements, Rivior's company rise from the beds of the barracks and attack. Actually, I think it's in the back corner we just didn't look at. Yeah, there's supposed to be a chest, like, right here. That's unfortunate. Oh well, mysterious remnant can always be useful. Okay, and so this is the way back down that other trapped area. No, actually, it is, but it isn't. Um. This way is the way to the trapped hallway, which we're not going to bother with. And there's just a collectible back here. Heading out to get your laundry, hell. You're stuck in Mari, can't get out? Oh no. This pantry has been picked clean. After Rivior's death, his men must have survived quite a while on these stores until it was all gone. Kill all the spiders! Any more spooters? All the spooters dead? Good. Let's go kill the cook. journal in the corner good times okay we still have to find one more treasure we also have to take on the doppelganger which we haven't done that yet the ruined tables of the feast hall curve around a hearth that must once have housed a great roaring fire Judging from the bones that surround it, most of Rivier's men perished here. There clearly was a fight. But who was the assailant? Oh, my slots are full again. the hearth flight before you finish searching blue fire best fire grows cold around you ghosts rise from their corpses apparently angered at you for touching the hearth Really good at 
Man, I think it, if I streamed Lotro and it had an Ascendant gem like that, and it would say things like that, certain people in our community would be real dicks about it. It would be a thing, wouldn't it? You know who I'm talking about, Galvis. You know who I'm talking about. Ugh, nice one! Not that they'd need a reason. Yeah, but this would be just like, you know, ammo for them. Alright. That seems to be the last of the ghosts. Even oh, no. in death, they were unwilling to let anyone else near their last bit of food. In the end, the roast was left to burn. None of them lived to taste it. You finish sifting through the hearth. Buried beneath the rotted wood is a jeweled key. You pick it up. Should have been able to pick that up. I don't know if it let me though. It's not there, so I don't know. I don't know if it let me pick it up or not. Oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that. Okay, we need to do the doppelganger because it's fun. It's a fun class. Fun little side thingy here. Okay. The main thing is you want electricity and you also, or you want electric resistance and you also want to leave your hirelings back here. In fact, I'm going to leave them around the corner. Even though it would be helpful to have the extra firepower. <sighs> In a bueno. In a bueno. Okay. Make sure my prot from electricity is good. Whether these statues commemorate Rivior's lieutenants or his victims, none will ever know. At the base of one of the statues is a gleaming crest. You trying to take my things? The statue exclaims, grabbing the crest before you can take it. Fool. You gotta rightly kill a person before taking their belongings. Or their identity. Like when I took this crest from that pompous centrum wizard. Say, you're sporting some nice gear yourself. I'd love to steal your face and wear it. Now it's like, which one? Uh, which one is it? The triggering of so many statues must have caused them to overload. No thanks to that reckless doppelganger. The resulting explosion destroyed some of the statues. But where did the doppelganger go? Is it a secret door? I love secret doors! I would have never seen that. And the way you can tell is one of them is going to have a CR of... It's going to be higher than the others. Thirty-five. Bingo.
kind of easy to tell simply because you you killed me sputters yep. the doppelganger as he collapses you can take my belongings but not you have found two crests they must be useful for opening something somewhere okay. <laughs> Actually, yeet, except you can't yeet something. I wish this is something they'd bring over to, to Lotro. Is if you have something locked in your inventory, you shouldn't be able to destroy it. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Honestly, I'm just going to sell those. All right. All right. Here's my dude's nice, safe, and sound bag here. So now we can go this way. I'm gonna want to shrine up pretty soon, actually. Um, I'm trying to think where there's a shrine here. Actually, there is one at the other end of the doppelganger hallway. Oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that. Shush, 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 shush. Uh, there's actually one coming up right around the corner, like right here. Dur. Okay. I'm gonna kill these dudes and then I'm gonna shrine up. Fortune favors the bold. How am I doing on my ransack? Vandal bonus, Jesus Christ. Fine. Danger. So that's how those things work? Exciting. Well, that's one way to put it. Okay, so. There's actually a journal in this room. This was once Rivior's treasury room. The sturdy door is protected. This is one of Rivior's treasure hoards. Amazingly still here after all these years. But if the bandit king's reputation is true, there must be even greater treasure deeper in. Alright, two more journals left, and we got all the piles of money. Money, 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 money! Okay, so that's done. I don't know why the money on those is you have found both crests placing them in the sockets by the barrier will open the way to the throne room so I'll do the shrine shrine my shrine thingy Okay, so basically Rivier's you can't get in here. Lies beyond this gate. You see no means of opening it, however. Perhaps there is another way in. And there's a shrine in this room. There's also breakables, which I want to break. I must have my ransack. See you another know, throne room.
Okay. We have our crests. Let's go. A figure sits upon the throne in the middle of the throne room, head down, lost in thought. Before we fight him, we can go fight some other things. Except the doors aren't opening, so I guess we have to fight him first. Oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors! I would have never seen that! One chest. Ha ha ha. Fortune favors the bold. Stone and rubble thoroughly cover what hey, must be the we've completed the quest. To a cave. But we're gonna go do all the other stuff because we get more more XP and more loot. Okay. <laughs> Remy's gold, gems, and more gems. And we'll take that. Okay, so ooh, he even gave us another key. Nice. Do I have a spot for it? I do, actually. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Okay, we want to keep those. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! If only I were an artificer. What do you mean, failure? What? Mm, didn't open like it's supposed to. Try again! There's supposed to be a jeweled key for it, but the thing is, I think in the, in the hearth, um, the jeweled key actually failed to go into my inventory. I'm gonna keep rolling until I get a 20. We'll recover. It's totally fine. Wow, it failed even on a 19. No! <laughs> Ooh, that's a little one. It'll get better. A little one does. again? Wow. <sighs> well, let's go do the other things. Okay, now I'm getting vexed. We will never mention this again. I don't think we will mention this again. Because you're supposed to be able to get through all of these. Um... Ooh. Okay, got that one. Hey. 
Okay, so down here we got the treasure. This must be a chest as well. Don't see a chest, but I see treasure. So treasure, good. And there's supposed to be secret doors all over the place. In spell ward throughout this hallway. Okay, we're gonna go down this one. There's one down there too. Oh yeah, this acid hallway. Yeah, yeah, good times. That was remarkable. You this have broken can be into a crypt a of some rough. sort. It's ancient. It looks like this place was sealed when Rivior's keep was built. What is in here that even Rivior did not want to disturb? A CR-37 mummy, that's what! More chests. Succeeded hey. in this now that loot is yours. Oh, neat. Quick. Who oh, knows? <coughs> gemstones, eat. Eat the gemstones. I'm gonna worry about the rest of that stuff. Alright, let's open the other chest and see if there's anything cool in it. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? She's not so bad. I mean, some of the other ones are actually a lot worse. Hey, I'm not going to worry about that quarter staff. Let's get out of here. Okay, so there's that. I can also go into this hallway and I will need to search for danger. I am in danger. Oh, is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that.
Okay, I'll stay here. So that's how those things work? Exciting! I forgot that you don't have to go too close to them to disable them. I think there's supposed to be one down this way. Maybe it's not even here. This must have been Rivier's personal study. Though much has fallen into decay, a few scraps from his journals remain legible. One more journal! No, oh, why am I doing this? Mm, didn't open like it's supposed to. Try again. Failed on a 19. But the other door opened on a 13, which is weird. Different CR. We will never mention this again. We should have gotten actually more keys to open these up, quite frankly. We will never mention this again. I love it when she does the no. Keep rolling a bunch of 19s. And as you can see, I'm going through my, uh, it does use your thieves tools when you try to open a lock, even though it fails, which makes sense. But I have like a shit. It's totally fine. So I'm not too fucked about it. I just wanted to roll a 20. No! <laughs> I'm going to give up on it here in a minute. Thing is, we won't be able to complete the journals because the last journal is in the room that we need to get to. Uh, <clears throat> so we will lose not a lot. Um, I tried to do the whisper one. Not sure how to even get there from here. All right. <clears throat> Let's try to see. Jewel. Oh, there's a jeweled key. In the, the room. Um, where is it? Let's go back this way. Legendary. It's not the last one. 
amazing. Rivior's armory is curiously intact. Why has it not been looted? At this point, I'm like, okay, what can I throw away? Well, you know what? I'm not using these. Eat them. Eat them. Well, I can't really shoot anything else to get uh, ran. Well, didn't I get ransack? Oh, I got vandal bonus, so oh well. All right. So, got the key. How did that even happen? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. It's supposed to be a door, but I'm not detecting the door, so. I think it opens up if you open up all three boxes. So, what I can do is I can either use the key and mm, I think I'm going to use the key to open the door down here because there is a rare, a chest, and the journal so I can get the XP for all of that. Your bedchamber. It looks like the Zentrum weren't able to find a way in here. There might still be something of value left. Yeah, his X. Too bad. I miss them. Whoa, she killed everybody. She's got electricity. How did that even happen? That's why she's a tough boss. She's right there, and she just kicked. The lion kicked. statue of Mior yeah. falls into pieces, and is still. Oof. Long after everything else he loved, this tribute to the object of his affection. Oh wow, she died. Lies ruin. A small well. chest behind the statue alcove promises objects of more material value. Well, at least I can personally res Spike. I have to take the shield guardian. the best part of adventuring yeah sure um, we drop the shield guardian stone long enough so I can loot the chest Some of the stuff is obviously crap, so let's use this. And use that. Delete that. So what am I gonna do with my shield guardian? Oh, 
Is it a secret door? I love secret doors. I would have never seen that. Let me repair Spike a bit here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wasn't there supposed to be a... There was supposed to be a lever in another door, another room. No, so this is the room. Um, there was the journal. I think I did a dumb thing, kids. I think I did a dumb thing. Let's go this way. Back into the throne room. Fortune favors Even the Even after bold. all these years, this room speaks to Riviera's wealth and power. The wall is still adorned with his prized possession. You'll get off the damn A magical chest. Mist Drannan painting depicting a scene from a long forgotten battle. Wait, isn't there a... There's no lever on the back of the chair. That's rude. Ugh, didn't open like it's supposed to. Try again. Kill him! What's going on? This is just a different type of opportunity. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Maybe the door will at least open because the other one opened on a better roll. No! The Santa Gem is funny though. Failure with a 20. Shit. Well, we're not going to be able to do any of the other stuff in here. That's okay. That's honestly okay. Let's finish this quest. Let's get out of the haunted halls of Evening Star. And we're going to conclude with one of my favorite quests. Kill him. I think you'll enjoy this quest I'm about to do. Ice over roads. You're home. Hey. Sucky that it's ice. I'm going to do one of my favorite quests. You're going to enjoy this quest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let me first of all turn in this particular quest to the quest giver, and then we'll bounce back to the guild airship for a second. <clears throat> How you doing, everybody? Oh, let me go sell crap in the store first. Or, I'm sorry. Well, it's a st I guess it's a store. Ah! I didn't mean to shoot the barkeep. Let's repair my gear. Not much needs help, but, you know. Okay. And the funny thing is, most of this crap I was trying to save is stuff that I was trying, you know, that I'm going to sell anyway. So, all right. Let me take a look. Vitality. Bonus. Um, I think I know an ult that will use that actually. Poison resistance. The sad thing is, once you get a sentient weapon, you don't really need any other weapons in the game. Okay. Um, mutated glitchation, blood of death block, blah blah blah. Um. Hmm. <laughs> UMD spot and Cypher Seeker. Honestly, I'm kind of digging those versus the ones that I have. Though I do like my accuracy. Hmm. And my bonus to weapon damage. And the fact it's got a, a slot on it. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna keep that. And we're just gonna sell all this crap. Zoop. All right, let's go back to 
the thingy major. I'm also going to do my epic destinies. No, 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 no. We're not doing it. Let me hit the button. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Actually, what I'm going to do is going to go look up the build that I've been using, which is, of course, a Strim Tom build at its basis. Has he put up a new build yet? No, he has updated his list. Um, for coming soon, Melee Imbue Warlock. A first light. Ooh. Ooh, this is the one that I want. First life ultimate trapper dark hunter. Oh, sexy. I want that one. Mm -hmm. And later on, he's TB determined, accolade of the skin and blight caster. And then he's going to do one that mixes all three of them. Fascinating. Blight caster, dark hunter, accolade of the skin, spike growth caster. Hmm. I really do want that First Life Ultimate Trap or Dark Hunter, though. Um, I, I was talking... I think um, Cordovan was actually talking about how he's of the three new uh, ar archetypes, which anybody can do, by the way. Um, is any of these can... Uh, they're free to play, so anybody can use them. But I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that Ultimate Trap or Dark Hunter. That one... Yep, yeah, I'm doing that one. I am definitely making me one of those. I had to get me one of these. To quote, of course, what's his face from what's his face. Okay, let me check something real quick for my Twitch drop that's been progress in the background. And 66% of three hours to get a new solar ship that I don't really need. I missed the one they gave away yesterday. I'm mad at myself for it. Okay, <clears throat> but let me go to the build that I was actually going for, which was my Arcano Technician build. Originally, I set this build up over on Kyber, but I'll be using this here on Orion. Okay. So his active destinies were based on... Okay, so this is old information that I've just been butzing with it. Okay. So, let me take a look at what choices I have. Um, I could do Magus, but I've just been basically doing Primal Avatar for the survivability. And having Thunder Snow. Thunderstore is the best thing. Unless you're actually in it in real life. Um, but yes, I do like that. Um, so, what, are, what my choices are. Real spell power using a large Kashi 3. Mm, that could be good. Um... When you rest this feature, this is a unicorn provides a natural blessing, plus five insight bonus to max hit points. That could be sexy. Um, uh, quick in costs you for fewer spell points. So I haven't really been suffering for spell points, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, plus two to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma could be good. Uh, saving throws not really needed. Well, I mean, they're needed, but not needed. Physical, well, P and MRR can, is always a good thing. Or this could be good as a nice heal. Or it could go be more of a dragon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, once I turn on a tune, the arcane, uh, mm, it's so good. I could get that. Or I could get more armor class and fort saving. I can also do more P and MRR over here. Oh, bypass for... Oh, I'm not using quarter stage, so that doesn't matter. Spell, I'm not doing a spell school. Um, imbue dice. Not really using a sword, though. That could be useful. Oh, by the way, my dragon type, I, I picked a dragon type. I'm a blue dragon. Like, the surprises. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> is those, you know, I like the color blue in general. But in D&D, &D, blue dragons are associated, well, at least in DDO, blue dragons are associated with electric spell power. So as you can see, my blue dragon breath 
Zorch's thing, so I'm, I'm really, I love that. So, if I bounce it up to, I could put two more points in it, I could make it so it costs the same, but takes two seconds off the cooldown. Um, and if I put the second point in there, it makes it five seconds total down. That could be very, very useful, question mark. Very, very useful, question mark. And once I hit level 30, I can start putting points in the top row. One of these two. I'm not sure I would actually finish out up here. I think I would want to put points in here, but I have to spend more points in this tree first. That's going to be part of the problem. Mass frog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I go with a mass frog. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, greater form. What can I pick? Oh, wait, I have to... Hang on. Which form am I? Ch am I? Uh, I am Sky. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I can become a Raging Storm for 20 seconds and gain active boost to movement speed and corporeality. Oh, hello. Hello. Come here. Look who I have. So cuddles. I have a cuddle bug. I have a cuddle bug. Hey. I get your tummy. Okay, I don't think I'll go with that. Um, anyhow, um, implies a dot that deals its full damage three dish time never. Okay, so it takes this, ooh, pardon me, and makes it sexier. Uh, instead deals a dot that deals its full damage three additional times after application, which means, um, it's going to do 1d6 plus 6 bonus damage per caster level in electric damage. So I've got 29 levels at one, so it's basically 29d6 plus 6. If I'm reading that right. That would be sexy. <clears throat> Breath weapons have a 25% chance to paralyze enemies. Mm, or... That could make it shield. I haven't really needed too much, by the way, of shielding. Um, if you guys, I think this is going to be our winner right here. Yep, that's our winner. That's going to make my number two so much better. Okay. Now let's go turn in our quest. Get whatever crappy ass loot they're going to give me. Uh, docent. Absorption. Um, this is going to be good for my actual defender. Um, so docents are good for me to get. Uh, PR shell spray. 
Yeah, we're gonna get the docent because I can use that for my doggo. Watch it, watch this. This is so cool. Where's my doggo? Where's my doggo? Resummon my doggo. Whatever. Okay, let me go back home. Uh, we're gonna go back to the airship. And I'm gonna pop in and pick up my guild, uh, my guild thingies. And then we're gonna go do one of my favorite quests in Stormreach. It's called Tower of Frost. There's actually a quicker way home, I might add. I could just go to the Mr. Ravenloft. Um, we'll go to Ravenloft. Because Ravenloft is so much fun. I'm going to go look one thing up about the quest we're about to do. There's one little bit of story. I always forget which one goes where. Okay, it's one, two... Okay, I got it. One, and then two, and then two. Across. Let's go! That is indeed the famous Thief Kitty. Alright. <clears throat> uh, Guild Airship. Actually, I could have gone to House J, but whatever. Guild Airship, I do want the buffs. Even though the buffs are still there, I never like to run out of my buffs. Alright, let's go to... Let's go to the marketplace. Alright. Where are we? We are here. So, speaking of DDO, by the way, on Tuesday, either at 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, Cordovan is going to be doing an anniversary stream. Uh, I don't think he's going to do the full run of, oh my god, um, you know, going to every server and dropping a shit ton of loot all there. And I don't think he's going to do that, um, but not like actual loot, like stuff from the community loot list, which is all pretty much cosmetics. All right, we're gonna go do, do this quest. This is one. And we're gonna do it on hard. So, you know what? Should I try it on elite? Should I try it on elite? Yeah, let's try it on elite. This will be fun. Let's see if I die. Listen to the voiceover. Once we start the quest. Now, I will note that the recording of the voiceover for this was not in a professional recording studio. I don't know where it was recorded, but it wasn't recorded in a professional like. Let's go. Though the weather in the rest of Stormreach is hot and sultry, snow drifts down from the top of the wizard's tower. You can look at the wizard's tower. Doesn't that look so cool? A voice booms from the magic mouth. Welcome to Theobald Tome. Your actions are being monitored for security purposes. Enjoy your stay, and for your own safety, please keep your hands to yourself. Wouldn't that be nice? A distant voice says, Remember, for your own safety, please keep your hands to yourself.
Yes, Galvis, that's exactly who you think it is. For Yenna's, uh, information, this is, this is, uh, voice acted by Cordovan, the, the DDO and Lotro community manager. He's very self-conscious about it now. <laughs> Behold Theobald's newest acquisition. Discovered during his recent expedition to the Everice, the Eye of Rizia dates back to the time of the Giants. While the Eye is clearly related to the Plane of Ice, its exact abilities are currently unknown. Please do not touch. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. This elevator is clearly the work of House Caneth artificers. Theobald has spared no expense in equipping this tower. Oh, no bad guys back here. All right, let's trigger the security system. We're not gonna talk to him yet. Nobody's allowed upstairs. That was both ineffective and unwise. Security forces activated. You poor friend. I hope you get better. Actually, before I do that, let me buff up. He actually did some other voices in DDO, like um, when they first launched Sharn, when you first go to Sharn, you hear a voice saying, hey, go here, da 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 da, -da. Um, But they read, they had um, Cindy Robinson, who is their main, one of the main voice actresses, uh, redid the same lines, or else they did his, like his stuff was like the scratch stuff, and it launched with that, but she hadn't recorded hers yet or wasn't ready to go in time. Of course, the owlbear didn't even come in the room. The owlbear is a goober fish. Let's get him back here. But uh, that sound in the background means we got our mischief bonus going. So I should expect to get my next dose of. Ow. My next action point here in a second. 
Yep, work. We get better. We'll be fine. That's why you bring a hireling who can res people. Let's go kill more gold. I know I don't really need the money. It's the loot principle. And then I think we'll end the stream once I complete this quest with the anniversary event so you can watch me kick his NPC in the anniversary party because that's what you do. We started the stream with it, we'll end the stream with that. The temperature drops even further as you step into the kitchen's freezer. The soft flapping of wings hints at how Theobald keeps it so cold. Albert does not go through doors very well. The temperature rises with the Mephits gone. It's still chilly, but some of the ice cracks and shatters. You've disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizzi. Oh, I have Barrett. Um, I know you're trying your best, but that really hurts. Do L around here. And take my res. Your poor friend. I hope you get better. Maybe I shouldn't have done this on a late. Everybody down, everybody down. I can't res anybody because I'm an artificer. Well, I can actually... You know what I forgot to do? Some of my doggo. The doggo will help a little bit. Okay, let's see if I remember. Shrine is a few levels up though, that's a problem. Rough voices can be heard coming from the large central room, while deep snores issue from the side chambers. Yep, this is going very badly. I'm going to go back and start it over again. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this on Elite. Alright, let's first of all deal with what happens if you die. You set your spirit binder you'll wake up in that particular place. The good news is the quest is like right outside. Uh, broccoli juice, nectar of the gods for some damn reason. But bacon I agree with, food of the gods. Buy both of those. And snack on them. And you have to wait for your spell points to come back. We'll go through, through it a little bit more quickly this time. Mainly because it's a hell of a lot easier on, uh, on hard. So unfortunately what this does mean is I will lose my first time in bonus, alas. My bravery bonus is all. Uh, I do want to repair my shit though. There we go. 
I did, was actually going to save that for my doggo. Boop. All right. Let's go try that quest again, shall we? Bit off a little bit more than I can chew. But the quest giver is like right here. Hi. Now you can either go in uh, as you were and you'd still not lose your, your XP stuff, but um, basically by running it on level 30, in this particular case, it means that there's more mobs, they're tougher mobs, uh, and hell with this. <clears throat> and we're gonna reset it. We're gonna do it, we'll get your stuff back. We're gonna go epic hard. So I'm just gonna run it basically a little bit more of a challenge. And I actually know somebody looks a lot like that guy. <clears throat> One of the supervisors at work kind of resembles that dude if he were bald and only had a goatee instead of a beard. Alright. Let's get everybody going. Let me get my buffs up. I will need this one. I will need that one. And I will want that one. Boop. Boop. Let's go. Though the weather in the rest of Stormreach is hot and sultry, Sorry, Cord. snow drifts down from the top of the wizard's tower. A voice booms from the magic mouth. Welcome to Theobald's home. Your actions are being monitored for security purposes. Enjoy Notice how much easier this is. For your own safety, please keep your hands to yourself. A distant voice says, Remember, for your own safety, please keep your hands to yourself. Um, no actual loot? Okay. Behold Theobald's newest acquisition. Discovered during his recent expedition to the Everice, the Eye of Rizia dates back to the time of the Giants. While the Eye is clearly related to the Plane of Ice, its exact abilities are currently unknown. Please do not touch. That was both ineffective and unwise. Security forces activated. Easy peasy. You know, there's only two guys up here. There were four before. Oh, there's the other two. Never mind. But they're also only CR 32 instead of CR 35. Makes things a lot nicer. <coughs> Breakables! Breakables! All the breakables! Couple of dudes in the corner instead of four. All right, here's the room where we died. The temperature drops even further as you step into the kitchen's freezer. The soft flapping of wings hints at how Theobald keeps it so cold. You notice there's no dude over here, no dude over there. Need one more. One more. Oh yeah, wakey wakey. The temperature rises with the methods gone. It's still chilly, but some of the ice cracks and shatters. You've disabled one of the magic wards, protecting the eye of Rizzi. 
Now, let's go to the next floor. Gruff voices can be heard coming from the large central room, while deep snores issue from the side chain. How to use doors to your advantage for fun and profit. A brightly colored ticket sits on the table in the center of the room. You want the claim ticket for reasons. You found a claim ticket, which says it can be redeemed at some kind of storage area. Metal grinds against metal somewhere nearby. Can also kill the extra dudes over here. If you're going for like a kill bonus. Which you will want to do if you, I don't know, screw up enough that you messed up your, uh, your bonuses. Rubble! I love rubble. That's the bathtub. Go get him a spike! And Spike, by the way, is not named because he has cool spikes on his back. He's named because uh, there's a song by Tom Petty called Spike, and I really like it. Who let the cat out this time? Shouts a gruff voice from the central chamber. <laughs> Cordo with a weird ass voices. That's the central room. I think we got them all. The elevator you can't use until you activate it. Okay, we got everything down. I don't think there's anything in the, the cat room, actually. Yeah, there's no chest or anything. It's just, you know, it's a it's a little XP boost. <coughs> nice one. Okay, now that claim ticket, a you take it. A large magic here. mallet is mounted above a sealed door. The doors swing open and a shiny brass lamp slides out of the chute. What is in lamps? Lamp oil, maybe? Maybe? If you're on a lead, like, all of these will pop off the wall and come at you. <laughs> this one is actually hard for me to do because the, the, the thing lighting up like that is very, the leaves very and rough branches in my of a eyes. nearby bush suddenly twist into motion. Hey, I got my next action point.
The satyrs are, like, what are they doing? What sound are they making? The squirrel squeals at you excitedly. It looks like it wants to play. And I've actually mentioned uh, these um, these hedges being so painful with the the blinking. I don't think Cordo actually realizes how bad it is. Oh, Mr. Shummy. Uh, because he, he actually he was streaming a game on his YouTube channel last night called Aka R. And it's a game that's got like so much shit going on on the screen. I, I could not actually stand to watch it for very long. I mean, I had the, the thing open. I just couldn't actually watch the screen because all the stuff wandering on the screen and like all the bright flashy colors was just so painful to me. why but I keep thinking of Marvel heroes when I do this play through this because there's um I think there's a similar fight your way through a hedge uh, space like this in Marvel heroes or at least in like one of the King I want to say something happened to do with the King Ted. Remy. And you've disabled one of the magic wards protecting the eye of Rizia. There's also a sentient jewel uh, that he has done the voice acting for. Now that I'm thinking about it. And you have to do the Ravenloft co content on Epic, or in this case, Legendary. And earn these things called Vistani totems. And then you get like 80 of them and you can turn them in for the um the immaterial guards bow as you pass. Welcome to the illusionary. They cry. He's also self-conscious about that too. Okay, so three stories and they're red stories, blue stories, and yellow stories. If I recall correctly, it's this one. There, it's blue. The thief is howling for attention. He doesn't need attention. He's just a butthead. Set up your story, you get all three gems in the right same color, and you talk with Magic Mouth. And then you have to pick which uh, which story we're talking about. We're doing this one. Your story was delightful, exclaims the Magic Mouth. Here, let me open the way for you. the way up to the new room. At the center of this large chamber is an altar surrounded by arcane symbols. Surely some kind of summoning symbol.
This ward is protected by a magic whirlwind that pushes you back as you try to touch the ward. A Ginny appears before you in a gust of hot, dry wind. That's what you need the shiny lamp for. Now let's commit evil people. One of the magic wards protecting the eye of Rizzi. <coughs> A far off voice says, You want to play a little one? Let me shut the door. Leaves rustle and strange demons suddenly appear. Igneous! We sacrifice a squirrel. That all it wanted to do was to play. A voice calls. Igneous with the cheer, the bitty bits. And now we get a chest of stuff. Oh, open it quick. Reconstructed ring of sonic. Oh, hello. I might. That might actually be useful. Thief says hi. Okay. Sonic resistance repair lore. Hi. Who are you? That could possibly be useful. I'm gonna lock it for now. This is like his third time being on the stream today. Look at this butt head. Look at this butt head. Look at this butt head. You knew Igneous was here, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you know Igneous was here? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Can I lay down? Can I lay down? Can I lay down? Here. Get comfy. Get comfy. Get comfy. Yes, you get comfy. Alright. Let's get our collectible. Alright, I will oh, need We'll need to shrine up soonish. He has a meow. Um Okay, normally I go and do the next floor and then come back, uh, but I think what I will do is I will actually shrine up first because I only have 66 spell points right now. Meow. 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 Why am I taking it out every single time? I take the long way. Hi. Ignis should hang out here because once we're done with this, we're going to do the anniversary party. And I might have to put the herd on a couple of your colleagues in the anniversary party. Your former <sighs> colleagues. Nothing like a well deserved rest. Hi, kitty. What are y'all doing? Come here. So we'll actually take the full tour of the anniversary party so you can see all the plus names um, and see how many of them you remember. Oh, chin tickles. All right, let's redo my buffs. Uh, I'm going to need protection from fire coming up and electricity. That's another good one to have. Wow. 
One thing I don't like about the greater elemental weapons is it seriously does not take a, um... <clears throat> it doesn't have, like, a cooldown. It's like an instant cast, and I almost always wind up clicking it twice. It eh, waste spell points doing that. Alright, let's go upstairs and do the next room, which has, uh, attacky lightning things and the salamanders, which are fire attacky things. Alright, let's sit down. Okay, that's what the demon's blood was there. He's licking my thumb! I'm trying to play games here, kitty cat! Waves of heat ripple from the salamanders tasked with guarding Theobald's laboratory. You're really good at this. Keep is having a howl. All the magic wards protecting the Eye of Rizia on the ground floor are now disabled. You've disabled one of the magic wards protecting the Eye of Rizia. You found a vial of demon blood. No doubt it's an ingredient for one of Theobald's experiments or rituals. He is howling. Good thing I'm an artificer. I can open this shit. What? Let's try that again. Didn't open like it's supposed to. Try again. Are you kidding me? I swear to God. We will never mention this again. I don't think we will, actually. Um. <laughs> Ooh, Mental Sky Card itself. Hello. Wait, I have. Aha! Finally, Jesus Christ. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Alright, next. We're not going upstairs just yet. We're going back downstairs. Because uh, we need to use the vial of demon's blood to get even more loot. Because I'm a loot goblin! Besides, we get to hear more voiceover. Good enough reason to do anything. You place the vial of demon blood on the altar, a massive form of blood, snorting in anger. The demons are defeated, but they seem to have left some treasure behind. Loot goblin. Yay! Putting your shelves together, you've leveled up your uh, 
Apartment dwelling skills. All right, now we can go in and go on to the next floor. Which is this way. This is the last floor of the tower. Well, it's the security floor. <laughs> That just means there's some pressure plates in there. Watch this. Zoop. A teleporter hums with magical energy and tenacity. Gonna ignore the shrine for right now. We'll need it for the final fight. Wow. Nice one. What do you get when you put your hires on aggro? Does that? Okay, here's where we fix the thingy. All right, first rule of thumb is isolate that so nothing touches it. All right. Zoop and zoop. Now powered by magical energy, the elevator is ready to use. Multiple doors clang open nearby. <clears throat> All right. Now, what we want to do is actually go back downstairs. Because what you normally do is you go here, you go up there, and you get told to come back downstairs to get a certain object. We're just going to go right back downstairs and get that certain object first. This elevator <coughs> is clearly the work of House Caneth Artificers. Theobald has spared no expense in equipping this tower.
The Eye of Rizia is bitter cold in your hands. Now to close the portal to Rizia before the eye freezes your fingers off. What portal to Rizia, might you wonder? Well, we're about to find out. Um. I could try, I don't think I need it though. You've reached the top floor of Theobald's Tower. The sound of howling wind can be heard from down the hall. Hey, uh, not only my Luke Goblin, I like to kill all of the mobs in an instant. Got a quest? Theobald, but the wizard is entombed to nice, standing before a howling portal to Rizia. Speaking of portal to Rizia? script at his feet describes how this happened. Theobald's note suggests that the portal can be closed by throwing the Eye of Rizia into it. You throw the eye into the portal, <coughs> and the troublesome gateway to Rizia instantly winks out of existence. There's a crash of ice and a roar of anger. Some visitors from the Plain of Ice are not pleased to be left behind. Big purple numbers. We're going where you to do what? The portal to Rizia that sounds and amazing! Dealt with the intruders. There should be nothing to stop Theobald from paying his overdue rent. Pay your rent, buddy. All right, we have completed this quest. Ooh, I even got a scion item, which... Oh, man, it's got repair amps on it, which is what I need, but I'm not going to give up my rune arm for a shield. Hell no. All right, so we got our stuff. Let's turn our quest in, and we'll go talk to a vendor real quick. And then we'll do the party. In Rishi Party. So you can see the DDO anniversary as it's supposed to be. And we won't get to hear Cordo in the anniversary party, but we'll kick his ass because that's what you do. Um, fort inside. Okay, that might actually be useful. Spell points are good, but my lightning lore is better. I think I'll go with this. Anything with fort is always a good thing. Alright, let's go to the bar and sell our stuff, and then we will go do the anniversary party real quick. Man, I freaking hate when... The Tartarus does that, it just sticks on a character on the button, press and just runs with it. Okay. Let me sell all my gems, put all this stuff here. And I said I was gonna keep that. Boop. And Alright. Let me redo some uh there we go. So the anniversary party is every February in DDO land. It is their 17th anniversary. 
And we will... It's, it's a real simple thing. You can use something called Party Punch, which you can get one for free this week using the code uh, Party Favor. And Party Punch will let these Party Favors drop when you do like other quests and whatnot. Uh, however, you earn Party Favors by doing the Anniversary Quest. You get more favors by doing the optionals. Uh, and then life is good. Also, everybody will want to come here to the Anniversary Ginny and pick up a anniversary dark armor, which is this bad boy. This is the 17th anniversary armor. Um, once you get your party favors ready to go, you're going to come over here and talk to Tolero. Uh, and Tolero will trade you for whatever. And these, these three things are new this year. Um, this is the helmet that goes with the free outfit. These, the balance pad, the stupid flavor text. Literally, they're not, they're not here for anything other than to be Cosmetics, I guess. And they're really cheap, only 20 points each. But the thing that we are here for, this is what I'm grinding for, is the Sentient Jewel of the Kobold. Because it talks back to you, and it's amazing when it talks back to you. Who is sending me things? Oh, hi. Ooh, very nice, Yenna. Very nice. Very homey. It really looks very cozy. It does. Okay. So, I need 250 uh, party favors. I have... Uh, I don't know how many I have on me. Um, it's to be in the green one. I have 19 on this character. Um, and so what can happen is you can pick the level of your challenge. Uh, by default, it levels it sets its difficulty at your level. Uh, if you complete the challenge, you will get seven. I'm sorry. If you complete the challenge, you'll get seven party favors. If you do all the optionals, you'll get nine. If you do it over level, if you do it one or two levels over, you get one extra party favor. If you do it um, three and four levels over, you get two. And if you do it five levels over, you get. I think something like it's listed on the wiki. Unfortunately, the anniversary page is not really well listed on the wiki. He has to go find it. Okay, so I'm level 29. Uh, before I do this, though, uh, let's cancel. Let me make sure I spend my epic destiny point because I have one waiting. Yes, I do. Um, I'm gonna put it here to drop the cooldown on that. I do believe that's what I want to do. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, the last time I ran this was on 33. Um, I was level 28 at the time. So we're going to do it... 29, 30, 31, 30. We're going to do it at level 30... 30, 31, 32, 34. We'll see how we do. Let's see how we do. It maxes out at level 37 for level uh, 32 characters, so it maxes out five levels above what you can do. So we're going for 34, kids. We're going to go for the maximum. We're going to see if I get my ass kicked. That's not the max level, kids. Uh, boom, 34. Let's go. All right, let's do it. House Fjarlan guards block a kobold from entering the anniversary party. The excited creature waves to you. Dragnel, you! You help Dragon Harbor! So that's the same voice actress for both halves of that uh, thing. It's uh, Cindy Robinson, who does the voice of Hartholin in uh, Lotra and a bunch of other voices, too. The kobold points inside. Find evil overlord! Stop kobolds and peoples from fighting! Alright. Igneous, if you're here, watch this later if you're not. Um, this is a very laggy space, by the way. Um, here's a little side room with some friends. Who you may or may not know. Here's Lozimir. I don't know what the chandelier is all about. 
And here's a mac and cheese. Here's Kintani. Look at that. It looks like Drygok. Um, we got Lord of Fire. We've got Cookie Kobold. Remember Cookie? Everybody remembers Cookie, right? Um, so basically, they put in a whole bunch of old uh, Lotro and DDO devs in here. Um, and some, the there's a couple folks who are former. Raise a glass to you as you enter the Grand Ballroom. Uh, and every year they change up this table over here. This year it's a bunch of Tabaxi playing D&D. Got a dungeon master. You got players. You got people chilling out. Butterflies, butterflies. I have no idea what that means. Here's the group snoozing. at the nearby table looks familiar. Perhaps you met them in a tavern somewhere. Last year was a bunch of people from Feywild. Oh, party foul. <laughs> The hardest part of any D&D &D session is organizing when you can play. Oh! Ow! 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 A nice little anniversary cake, of which there's no cake. Uh, over here, uh, this gentleman, Mr. No Bob, who's going to be one of the presenters at the uh, panel coming up at PAX East here soon. Okay, let's go kick Steel Star's ass, because that's what we have to do. Steel Star is a current dev. I think he will actually be at the PAX East panel as well. So... The quest has you, you know, if you're going to get the max value out of it, you have to defeat four developers, four devs, um, and then you go talk to Harper Masters and kill a whole bunch of kobolds. All right, let's send everybody after An Steel Star. An impressive Warforged turns to face you. There you are. Good. I've been dying to try this out. So this year, normally he has a string table, uh, um, an iron defender with him called a string table error. Um, and this year, why well, I've got steel star targeted. Um, this year we have, whoopsie, what we have is me getting killed. I'm gonna die because of this trap. That's okay, I'll get a res. Got you. Alright, steal! Reset. And you gotta watch out for steel uh, with his electric boo-boo there. Alright. Let's repair you real quick. Okay, let me remember to put my... Uh, Props and electricity on like a dingleberry. Where is steel? There he is. He knocked me down. The war sword splatters to the ground, but the head somehow continues speaking. Still a few problems with this build. <clears throat> I know. Next time I'll try a different rune arm. Or maybe a crossbow. So this is new this year. Um, what they did is they took the uh, Hunt Hounds from um, Hardcore League Season 6. Uh, which were a bunch of hounds that would howl. And then they would teleport to you and try to murder you. And they were tougher than the actual dungeon you were in. Uh, so that's why I attacked the hound first. You spot an unexpected figure among the party guests. 
Your old nemesis, Malicia. What is the succubus doing at an event like this? I like this little interaction. This is Salamis. You meet her the very first time you play DDO. And Tolbrun. Uh, they're basically the three characters you, you meet during the tutorial. Okay, this year, the Cordovan fight. Last year it had water weirds and stuff from Feywild. This year it has stuff from Isle of Dread. <clears throat> A dark figure beckons to you. Welcome, he cries cheerfully as he raises his weapon. I'm gonna die again. Except maybe, maybe not. But they uh, have the name Party, and I think they actually changed the. God dang. I have um, Paris again. I know you're trying your best, but that really hurts. Come on, Resmi lady. Sometimes you can force her to res you. By commanding her to do something? Come on, you. Poor friend. I hope they get better. There we go. Let me get out of the way. And you only have to kill a uh, cord to finish this set of stuff. I suppose it would help if I had taken my buffs. down. Hi, Cord. Cord values for something as he falls. You can't quite make it out, but you think it was something like not cool, cool. Occasionally there'll be some uh, some uh, collectibles in here if you really want them. And over here we have uh, Artemis. Artemis will also be one of the folks at the, the thing uh, at PAX this year. It's really, really cool. Uh, here's a couple other things back here. The little gelatinous cube you can play with, a mighty cube. Uh, there was a, a Want Arcane Assistant back here last year, and there wasn't. Um, and there's some other folks that you could talk to. An island that appears and disappears, quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. That's the Isle of Dread. Okay. Alright. It's random party guests. And then you have a table full of dragons, by the way. Here's Vela, there's Sydney, uh, Terthenir. Over here is this guy who passed out. He was talking about the Isle of Dread here last year, being very drunk, but not passed out yet. Oh, look at his little, his little, his little friend over here. Right. Uh, and there's some notes on the table that you can read about uh, various things if you want to. They don't actually help you with a quest. They're just there. Okay, um, there's the bar. Alright, and then we go upstairs. 
Now it's time to kick the executive producer in the ass. This is going to be a little bit of a tough fight, I think. He is basically best kited. A figure sits brooding on a throne, surrounded by skulls. The vanquished warrior gives you one last defiant look. Next time, it won't be so easy. The funny thing is, the dev characters look nothing like their real life selves. Uh, except no Bob kind of does look like Bob the house. There's fans! There's fans. Um, I think, I can't remember what this actually used to be, but it was on fire when there was a smoldering. Uh, there's nothing else in here. You just knock several Inanas patootie. And you go from there. Alright, next fight is, for some folks, the toughest one of these fights. The Linabel fight. Or, I'm sorry, Lickabel. Lichabel. <coughs> um, and what's up there? Um, nothing. The thing that you can... It's a little jumping puzzle. And there's nothing up on that floating platform except cheese. And it's not cheese you can loot, it's not cheese you can eat, it's just cheese that you, it's just cheese. And you got a hag over here in the corner. And yes, this is a very uh, laggy space. That's why I don't like to go up there too often, just to say, uh, hey, I saw the cheese. Uh, mainly because, you know. So last year we were all thinking, these are the um, the NPC vendors for Hardcore League. Mortality was the first. Um, I think um, she was the second. And he was the third. And so their little conversation kind of threw a red herring as to what the uh, next flavor of the Hardcore League was last time around. And it Proved to not be the case. Something about this area feels strange to you. Now, I'm not too fussed about breakables in this particular event, simply because um, you don't get any bonus for them. So, but uh, they do make me happy to break them. Appreciate everybody being here, by the way. Okay, so either we're going to get flimsy in this room, or we're going to- Oh, it's Linabelle. What? Oh, I'm helpless. Let's get out of the acid shit. Ow. Lynn, stop setting things on fire!
creature emits a guttural groan and collapses. I like blowing things up. Okay, so Flimsy's in the other two rooms and we're gonna probably wind up fighting him simply because I need to use the shrine. Looks like Flimsy's in here because the hires are going after him. Flimsy is in the bathroom. Nothing in here other than those two. But breaking things is always so much fun. And of course collectibles. Alright. And then you sit in here and you use the shrine. So yes, Now's they time to take a breather. actually do use scale down the shrines and use them as the toilet paper slash toilet paper roll holders. Because DDO does are a bunch of wacky kids. Okay, I have rested. Spike, have you not rested? Owl Bear is thinking about it. Where is Spike? Spike is right there. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm gonna heal Spike up because he's gonna need some help. There you go. Erethea did not rest. She did not rest. Where are you? I wish it was a thing that you could just hit all of them at once. That would be so much nicer. Like you can do with the elements here in just a second. I'll show you how that works. Watch this. All of them at once. Whoosh. <coughs> all right. Let's go to the other half of the quest. You thought that was the... Uh, no, 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 That's not even that. That's just the optionals. Harbor Master Zin motions for you to stop. The kobolds have taken over the chapter house. No one is allowed back there until we get the situation under control. Why not use the shrine the down here? I might want to come door. back and use it later. The kobolds are back there. Maybe you can do something with them. Kobolds rally around a bonfire, yipping and chanting. Kobolds here before tables! Kobolds, take back the leech! Kobolds, get you! Nice one! the best part of adventuring yep loot always a good thing Kobolds have transformed the chapter house into an armed camp. Kobolds not welcome at your party? Then kobolds not welcome you here!
Wow, that was a terrible roll. Didn't open like it's supposed to. Try again. Wow, my rolls are like I'm actually playing D and D. Shit. Fine, like Jesus Christ. Open it quick. Kobold shamans mock you from above. You not know like kobolds here? Now you know how kobolds feel when you go in their sewers! Kobolds never forget! Whoa! Whoopsie doodle. I fell down the one hole. That's what he said. Nice quiet moment for me to work on the story of your adventures. Everybody rest, everybody rest. Everybody, everybody, everybody rest. Redo my buffs again. Need that. Need that. Need this. Need this. Kobolds scamper through the seats of the darkened theater. Oh, oh my lord, please, kobolds! They cry. Back, oh my lord, please, kobolds! The kobolds jeer at you as you approach the gate.
kobolds peer down an open trapdoor. You go down! You lost it! Says one to the other. I always love those two talking to each other. Alright. If you pop down here, it's the greatest concentration of developers. So we are going to pop down here and see who shows up. Keeper, The Rocking Dead, Purple Foo, Silorian, Zirka. Mana Trap, Gallant, Lickin. No worries. And the, the devs who spawn down here are Ooh, randomized. Open it quick. And there's also Varguli over here, but you can't click on Varguli. Uh, and there's El, du El Dorudo over there. And I got the key. Dr. Octothorpe, Eladrin, Vivian, the former executive producer. And actually, um, our friend uh, Agent Brigman had a high school student who now is one of Dr. Octothorpe's college students. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and yeah, Coco Majobo's over here. Coco! And we also have Sick over here. The ones that are sitting around that aren't aggroing are uh, constant. Um, but all the other ones, uh, there's a whole bunch that can spawn. Former Turbine and Standing Stone developers. It'd be actually really funny if Ignea showed up in that under uh, their dev name. I would be highly entertained and feel kind of bad about it if I had to you know, like kill her and kill her. Alright. And fight time. The dark overlord of all the kobolds standing atop the throne. It's none other than your old friend Jeez. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna res thinks that uh, becoming a dark the shrine before I go in. Mm -hmm. You'll need to enlist her help if you want to save Yeah, the and the frame rate is not my herself. client. It is that well, it's the client, but it's the game being laggy as fuck. There's so much stuff in this space now. Come on, Melicia. Come on. Come on, chat with me. There we go. Oh, alright. Sighs Melicia. I'll help you with your pathetic little friend. Now to return to Jeets. And There's just so much stuff downstairs that it just causes the entire room to lag. Oh, we didn't go past this door the first time, did we? No, we went around the other way. So the first time we passed this door, this is actually plus knockback. Um, and it says, you passed, this is an ordinary door. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite voice lines in this. All right. And then after this, I'm going to go make supper, and we're going to have, uh, I think, chicken wings. Let's go! Melicia uses her arcane powers to open a pathway leading into the mind of Jeets. It's very clear what's on Jeets's mind. Melicia is not amused. This, your friend, so we can get out of here. isn't flattering. It's mortifying. The Jeets you know vanishes, and in this place stands something far more. The Go Dora get him! Oil. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Bad stuff will keep me 
The Dark Overlord seems to be weakening. I know what you're trying to do. But the bad thoughts. Oh, I have perished. Your poor friend. I hope they get better. Dark Overlord fades away, and the G2 mill returns. Perhaps this experience is thirteen has party favors. No, it doesn't seem likely. There we go. And I am very, very close to getting my next action point, but I'm not gonna do that tonight on the stream. All right, let's get out of here. I am going to go to the car, not in real life, in the game. And then I'm going to go make some supper, and then I am going to cause some trouble, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's going on over here? Oh, oh, party fell. Well, I'm going to have to go find somebody who's streaming No Man's Sky, I think, and finish out that thing. Uh, but I'm going to do that in my own time. Anyhow, you know the drill, kids. Be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. I will be back on the official Lotro... Ch sorry. Official DDO channel on Thursday. Lotro channel, I'm going to run early. Going to run from 1 to 4. Um, several in the community... Or not the several in the community. Oh, Jesus. Several in the executive producer will be on Fridays at 4 uh, doing a QA and a with Cordovan. Uh, and Professor Corey will be out, so I will be doing my Lotro stream, uh, two hours earlier than usual. Um, that way I can actually pay attention and moderate if Cord needs it for his Q&A. Anyhow, I will see Killam later tonight, probably, for a little bit, maybe, question mark, at BBB, yep. Uh, and I'll be around. I might be late because you know why. Anyhow, be good. If you can't be good, be Killam. If you can't be good... Yana, 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 yana. The Igneous. All of you for coming and hanging out with me, keeping me company while I do stupid shit. Uh, <clears throat> good times. Anyhow, bye now. <laughs>